continue our back to school team coverage this morning in Virginia Beach. Turn on your sides, Kiana Patterson is live at Green Run High School. So Kiana, what should families know today? Well, families should know that COVID is a big concern for school leaders. They want you to wear a mask while you're on the buses out here at Green Run, the Green Run campus. We can see a lot of buses moving around, picking up students for schools all over the Virginia Beach School District. But it does look like there is some confusion with those buses. We saw some parents end up just driving their kids to schools and some kids end up walking back home. Um, so unsure of like, you know, which buses they're supposed to be taking. But it looks like kids are going inside of Green Run High School right now um, and getting dropped off by some of their buses. Now, Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence says nearly all students will be learning in person this school year. And with more kids in schools, there may be a bump in those COVID cases and quarantines. School nurses and the Beach Health District will contact parents if their child is exposed to the virus. And if your child starts showing those symptoms while in school, there is an isolation room available until the parents can come and pick them up. Now, health experts are stressing the importance of those COVID-19 vaccines. There are several vaccination clinics planned throughout the school year, especially they start at the end of this month. But you do have to register to get the shot and we'll post the full list over on wavy.com. Now, sports will continue this school year, but we are told the Ocean Lakes versus Lansdowne football team uh, football game on Friday is canceled, and that's because of those COVID-19 protocols. In Virginia Beach, Kiana Patterson, turn on your side. Staff and faculty at Princess Anne High School are also ready for students to return to classrooms this morning. Ten on your side, Kara Dixon is live there now. And Kara, safety is a very big concern today for many parents, so what did they need to know? Hey, yeah, Madison and Alexa district is really asking for patience at this time as everyone kind of gets back into that school routine. Now, let me get out the way so you can see all this activity happening behind me. We've had um, a lot of cars coming in to drop their parents off. We've had students coming in to park. You can see we have some buses uh, pulling up to let some of these kids off. Now we had a lot of kids out here earlier just waiting outside before the doors open, but they opened, um, I'd say about 10 minutes ago to let the kids in, but you can see all this activity here is going on right now. And with 63,000 students headed back to the district alone, the district is really just asking for patience from the families and students as we do get back into the school routine. Now they're definitely asking for that. When it comes to buses, the district is facing a driver shortage like many other districts in the area. They're asking if you no longer are sending your child off on the bus, please reach out to your child as soon as possible to let them know your chance changes have uh, your plans have changed. That will give them more accurate count on how many buses they exactly need for your schools. The district is also providing free breakfast and lunch for all students, including those who have chosen to remain virtual. The district says if there are any changes to your child's bus route, you'll get updates to your parent view account. Now, please remember parents, and students, when you are heading off to the buses, you need to wear your mask at all time on the bus, both to and from school. That is a requirement, and you also need to wear them inside the schools as well. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.